What's up, y'all? This is Midge here with another Logic tutorial. This is very late for me, so I'm going to try to get this out quick. And good thing for us, this video should be very, very short because this is a very simple topic, um, very easy to instruct, hopefully. So, uh, Logic tutorial. This one's going to be over how to get a very professional sounding drum kit or drum you know track uh, inside of Logic without actually having to record the drums and this is going to be for genres of you know rock metal alternative indie soft rock anything within that kind of range um, this is great to use alright so check it out this is Logic this is what it's going to look like when you first open it um, I'm going to come over here and make sure Ultra Beat Drum Machine is selected Get out of the media tab and come over here to the in and out. Double click on Ultra Beat, and here we are. Our default kit is going to be loaded. What I want you to do is come down here and get rid of that default, and instead, I want you to click Indie Live Kit. Now, this is where all the magic's gonna happen. Yeah, mother. So, um, I'm just gonna play you the first sequence on this kit and show you how legit the sounds without even having to do anything all right so here we are beautiful beautiful it sounds great that's more of a um you know alternative indie kind of just drum beat and it sounds great it's very great um a couple little tips though uh, if you wanted it to sound more um, for a rock, hard rock, or metal song, um, you really, really, really want to be focusing on velocities. Velocities of your kicks, velocities of your snares, um, velocities of your cymbals. The higher velocities give it a bigger intensity, and that's exactly what you need for those um, harder genres. All right, And to do that, it's pretty simple. I can come down here, and I can grab each one of the parts and I can raise the velocity up and that all, all it does is it's going to um, make this make the uh, I'm making the snare and the kick sound a little bit more full a little bit more intensified I like that word and I don't know if you can tell maybe go back and listen to the um, other um, when I played through it before, but you can definitely tell that the snare and the kick are, um, if you're an actual drummer, they would be hitting the snare or kick harder than before. There you are. There you are. I mean, I mean just mess with the velocities, and you get all these different genres, um, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But there's a couple problems that I have with Ultra Beat in general and with this kit. First of all, with Ultra Beat in general, this I don't know why, but these freaking, I don't know, Ultra Beat makers, whatever they, whoever they may be, I'm calling you out right now because check this out. If I have a bunch of crashes all in a row, and I did not mean to do that, and the velocities are up, and I am playing them in rapid succession, uh something terrible happens and I hate it I hate it check this out there's like a it cuts off before the next one is played I don't I hate it I don't know what what am I supposed to do I don't like it so here's a couple solutions to the problem number one create a whole new ultra beat track just copy it down and put like one like the odd the odd beats on one and the even beats on the other. You can do that. And, um, which might even be good for you because you can pan one to the other. Pan one, some symbols to one year, pan the others to the other year. I mean, there, there you go. It adds some dimension to your music. But if you don't want to do that and you're just like, hell nah, I don't want another track. I already have too many, which is perfectly fine. What can you do then? Um, how about just loading another crash, this exact same crash symbol, in another one of these track positions that are worthless, 
worthless. Like, I don't know, like a ride bell? Like, who the f uses a ride bell? No one. So, you can, instead of using that ride bell sample, you can get this crash symbol, which is fairly simple to do. You can come down here and you can show this um, file, this sample, in the finder. Make sure you know where it's at. Make sure you know where it's at. And then, come up here to this ride bell 3 and load the sample and then just find out wherever that sample is and click it and boom ba -ba 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 boom you have two crash symbols of the exact same sample and you can then oh didn't mean to do that and then you can pan them back and forth just like you did with these two tracks up here simple enough simple enough all right so there is a problem and solution that i have with Ultra Beat in general. All right. So with this kit in general, um, every, every uh, each kit that you use isn't going to be perfect. There's going to be some samples in it that are just weak, that are just pansy, that are just pieces of shit, and you're going to want to get rid of them and put in new samples that sound a little bit better, a little bit beefier. Um, one sample that I really really hate inside of this is the crash one I don't know it sounds like freaking tortoise taking a dump all over the place what the hell is that I don't no one knows it's I, I don't know I don't, I'm, I don't I don't ever use something like that in one of my songs I don't know if you do I mean you could find I don't I, don't, I honestly could care less but to me it just sounds like shit so, what do I do? What do I do? Why, why, why would I want that? Well, check it out. You can do the exact same thing I did with the Crash 2, just copying it. I can get out of the full view, and as you can see, the um, this part of the uh, or this part of the Ultra Beat synthesizer is being turned on right now. This is the phase oscillator sample and model, where you can get your X, Y modulation, fun stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't have to worry about any of that. We have to make sure that sample is clicked. All right. And as you can see in Crash One, it says U N C R C H two piece of shit dot A I F. All right. That's this file that is right here in Crash One, and I can play it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. No. That's just changing the direction of it. I am very sorry, folks. I'm very sorry. That wasn't play. That was switching directions. Hey, you learn something new every day. There you go, everyone. So, you can play it up here and be like, that sounds like pieces of shit. So you can load a new sample in it. And this is where, if you have a sample library, go crazy. Upload your favorite samples into um, this track inside of Logic, or inside of Ultra Beat. But if you don't have a sample library, um, Logic was kind enough to have its own um, pretty expansive sample library already. And turns out they have a folder full of crash symbols. It's like heaven of crash. And some of them don't even sound like turtles taking shits. So, I mean, there you go. I mean, up upload something you like, and then you have another legitimate crash besides that crash too. And there you are. I'm trying to make this simple because I don't really need to go to sleep, but um, that is the problems and solutions and the basics to making a great uh, drum beat in a genre of rock alternative indie. We've gone over this already. So um, go crazy, mess with velocities, and solve those problems. Be problem solvers, not problems causers. I know some problem causers, and I want to smack them right in the face. If you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Alright, everyone. Uh, do me a favor. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Comment, rate, subscribe. Comment, rate, subscribe. Because I know you're boss. You know I'm boss. We can be bosses together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, check it out. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hell yeah!